All right. <clears throat> so on the programmer, you want it as far forward as possible with the red wire facing this way and going this way. Then you want to take it, keep in mind of where the red wire is, and you want to put it on the chip. I usually kind of go on the front side, line it up with the pins, and tilt over. Oh, you'll have to move the screen over too. It just comes off. But yeah, I put it on this side, matching up the pins, and then rock it over, verify both sides are on, and the programmer will probably light up red. And then you just want to plug it in. All right, now I'm going to show you the hardware side of this. Uh, sorry for the bad microphone. My, I'm using a laptop, and it kind of sucks for the audio, apparently. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how to replace the sprites. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace the sprites with English from Ray's English sprites. Um, uh, and then and we're going to use Cyanix uh, DMC sprite tool. Uh, Ray has given his out on the Digimon Hatcheries um, modding channel. Um, I'm going to include it and Cyanix tool in a folder. Uh, but once Cyanix makes a GitHub page for his tool, I'm going to link to that as well. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I'll walk you through the process of uh, dumping the DMC that you have and then replace dumping the sprites from that dump. Replace the sprites, make a new um, bin with the new sprites, and then writing it to it. So we'll go and go ahead and get started on um, reading. So uh, you, when we want to first identify the chip, um, if you don't identify it correctly, it's going to show this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up my programmer, and then we're going to identify it now. If it doesn't identify, like I said, it's probably because you're not on it correctly or you don't have the drivers installed so the program is not being seen, which it will tell you that the program is not being seen. But you want to click the first option, and then we're going to go ahead and read it. Uh, while reading, you have to hold down the, um, the uh, read button. And uh, not the read button, the reset button. You have to hold it throughout the entire read, or you will not get a good dump. So. You, just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and read it, and I'm going to go ahead and jump to the very end. All right, it's now done. Uh, if you got, it should look like this. If you got a lot of Fs, then you did not get a good read. You probably moved the programmer off the chip slightly, or you didn't hold down the reset button. So just keep in mind, it should look like this for both V1 and V2. They're, they're very similar in this area. Um, so now that we have it read, we want to go ahead and dump it. So we're going to dump that. I'm going to put it in the folder that I'm using for to show this, and it's easier for you to follow along. I'm going to name mine DMC dump.bin like it has here. You can name it anything you want to. Um, just remember it, I guess. Go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up. We now have the DMC dump, and we have Cyanix tool and array sprites. These are the commands for using the Cyanix tool. We're going to go ahead and open up a git bash window. You can use PowerShell, command line. I just prefer git bash because I am much more of a bash person, so it's easier for me to use it, really. So we'll go ahead and start it off. We're going to export them, and we're going to export a V1. So I'm going to say, uh, go into the tool. Digimon Sprite Tool EXE. We're going to export and we're going to list the dump that we just made. So in this case, it's DMC dump.bin. And then we're going to say the offset. So 38296. And then we have 597 sprites we're going to dump. And then we're going to list the export uh, directory. And this can be anything. So I'm going to name mine sprites. It's going to be created when it's dumped. So then I run that. We can now see that we have the sprites for all of the stuff. And now we're going to replace them. So Ray has graciously given out these sprites that he translated and uh, made look very pretty. 
uh, they are when you replace the sprites you want to make sure that uh, you have the same name as the one you're you're replacing you want it to also be the same size um, keeping in mind that the screen is at 96 by 96 pixels but uh, Sinex tool is supposed to let you replace with bigger images I haven't tried that yet but the main takeaway is naming needs to be the same as the one that you are replacing. I find it easy to open one of the images that I'm replacing and edit that and save it off as a new image with the same name somewhere else like this. Then you make sure that you that lets you make sure that you're always editing the correct one. So what we want to do here is we want to copy these and we want to take them into the sprites directory and then replace the sprites that we want to translate. And mine did, okay, <laughs> it did replace it. My window just wasn't showing it. So now we have those replaced. You saw the, some of the English up there. A lot of the other English is down here. And uh, yeah, now we want to make a new bin file with those sprites added. So once again, we're going to go for Sinex tool, Digimon color sprite tool, exe. We're going to import. We're going to list the original dump that we had. We're going to type in the offset again, 38296, 597 images. And then we're going to list the import directory. So this would be, in my case, the sprites directory. And then we're going to have a new bin file path. So I'm going to say DMC ENG dump dot bin. And now you can press enter. And if everything went right, it'll just create the new file. If you have things wrong, so if you type the offset wrong, the images are different than each other, it's going to warn you about that. It'll still create it, but it'll warn you. So now that we have the new dump that's for English, I'm going to go back to as programmer. And we're going to select the new dump. And the top part's going to look the same because it's just we didn't change anything there. Uh, we are now going to click this and press this. Keeping in mind, you need to hold down the reset button the entire time again. When you're doing this, it takes much longer than a read. I recommend using something that... Um, can bridge the contacts of the reset button rather than holding it down because I did, I've done that your finger starts to hurt after a bit because this will take a few minutes so just keep that in mind but we're gonna go ahead and program it and uh, it's gonna erase and then start programming after it's done you can unplug the programmer from the computer and then unplug the clip from the VPET after that you can put the device back together and test it out and everything should function. If you have any questions, I can try and answer them um, in comments. Uh, if there ends up being an issue with the files at all, I will replace the links. And like I said before, once Cyanic uploads his GitHub, I will also link to that. And I will link to Ray and Cyanic's Twitters as well, so you can check them out for all the work that they do in their respective areas. All right. Have a nice uh, rest of your day, I guess.